Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to take just a second to talk to you about our Watch Gang Black Tier subscription for March 2019. How y'all doing today? So, quick wrist check. I am wearing that Spinnaker Croft, which was our Watch Gang Black Tier subscription for February 2019. Loving this piece. Hope to have a review out for it. Uh, probably going to work on it later today, actually. Uh, so it'll probably be up in the next couple of days. But let's get into our March subscription and see what we got. March Madness is afoot. Uh, we're going to use the Sog Blink to open today. Nice little piece. Semi-auto. Quick opening. Hence the blink in the name. Came wicked sharp, as most Sogs tend to do. Made short work of that package for sure. And actually, let me just peel it a little further back. And out we go. Get that set aside. The Watch Gang Store. Buy all your merch and swag. There you go. And George Graham. Okay. And we don't know what it is. Look at that. An unknown box. Oh, I don't want to look at the back. There we go. It's a Nautis. So I've seen these. These have actually been making the rounds, man. These have... Uh, these have been showing up in a lot of people's unboxings. I have not looked at March unboxings at all. I, I leave the exchange page uh, from about the 10th until I get my watch and do my unboxing. I, I don't even bother looking at the exchange page, so I don't know what other people are getting for March. But this has been making the rounds for several months. Uh, these have been going out, so they must have got a really good deal with Nautis and bought just a crap ton of them. And they're making sure everybody's going to get a notice. So here we go. Taking a look. Oh, it's a diver. Nice. Uh, previous notices I've seen have been like Chronos. Uh, let's get this guy popped out. Okay, package is a bit uh, cheapo. But if the watch is quality, we don't really care. We like a nice package, but well, it's not a huge deal. For me, anyway. Some people it is. So it looks like we got a fairly robust we have really a lot of extra links on this uh, stainless steel bracelet it is a fold over clasp uh, it does look like it's a milled clasp not pressed metal that's a nice feature screw down case back not an exhibit so we don't know if it's an auto oh no look at that ticking definitely not an auto it is an absolute quartz watch uh, let's pull this cover off and get a better look Yep, 100% quartz. Uh, it is a GMT, so we've got the uh, fourth hand there, that bright orange hand, and we've got the GMT 24-hour bezel here. Uh, so let me get some of this plastic off of this guy so we can take a good look at it, and I'll bring you back. All right, we got it opened up here, and in reading this text down here at the bottom, obviously we have the Nautis at the top. Uh, this red was actually a little bit hard for me to read. Being colorblind, uh, it blends in, so I had to break out the old magnifier and take a good look at it. And it says Global Dive. Not Global Diver, just Global Dive, which, I don't know, feels weird on my on my mouth uh, and my tongue there. Uh, it is. It does claim 1,650 feet of water resistance, which is pretty massive. Uh, 50 ATM. It does have a helium escape valve over here. Uh, 4 o'clock crown, which is a screw down. If you're going to have 1,600 feet, you're going to need that. Uh, it does hack. Uh, obviously, no hand wind because it's quartz, but you know you can hack it so you can set it properly to uh, you know whatever clock you wish to set it to. Uh, now on the first pull, you've got. A GMT set you can see that orange GMT hand moving around now that's if you rotate it downwards um, if you go the other direction you get the date so you get a nice date set quick set date uh, which is good and of course on the second pull you get a uh, your traditional hand movement now when I was looking with the magnifier and this is where Nautis you know shot themselves in the foot 
Uh, the fact that they painted this red, which is uh, hard for me to read, and I had to go get the magnifier. I wouldn't have seen this otherwise. Right here at the top, uh, on this second segment of the hour hand, there's a hair embedded in the luminescent paint that they use. Uh, I don't know if it's super luminous or, or what, but um, you know, there's a hair sticking out of there with the end of it buried in the paint. I'll put, try to put a close, see if I can get a close-up shot of that, put it in there uh, for you guys. Now, the uh, blue dial, that's the only one I did find. I did go check all the, the applied indices. That's usually where you'll find them is sticking out of an applied indices. Uh, I didn't see them. I didn't. I checked the uh, minute hand. I checked the, you know, the little dab of paint there on the end of the GMT. Didn't see any there either. So, you know, that may just be a fluke, but it definitely shows to some uh, quality control issues, potentially at the Nautis plant where they're making these things. Uh, other than that, it feels fairly well quality. Uh, it's a good feeling bracelet. A lot of extra links, which is super nice for guys with bigger wrists. This will most definitely fit a larger wrist. You know, eight inch, maybe even up to nine. We'll know when we start pulling some links out, um, and you know, with that, G, you know, the GMT is actually a nice feature with it um, being adjustable because you can move it for daylight savings time and whatnot. Now, the ratcheting bezel feels really nice. Uh, initially, it does, and it's hard to describe on camera or in words, but the the clicks do feel a little bit like the the ratcheting mechanism. You know that's underneath this bezel does feel like it's not offering a lot of resistance like it will like it might be a little bit cheaper underneath like they've cut a corner hidden under the mechanism um, but right now there's there is a little play but it's very very little you probably can't even see it on camera so it's it's, it's you know well done uh, if it holds up then it's gonna be great uh, I just do have a fear that it may not hold up just given the way it feels how it just doesn't feel like it's really catching all that great um, like it's just kind of holding on for dear life at the moment um, you know again something kind of hard to describe in camera but you know it's just a feel you got to rotate it and feel it for yourself and then you'll be like oh I know exactly what he's talking about there um, it does have a Cyclops guy you guys know I can't stand these stupid things um, I think they're a waste of space, a waste of time. They never get them on straight. This one is slightly high. Um, it, it's not a deal breaker for me. A lot of watches have them, especially divers. I just, I, I can't stand them. I hate them. I wish they wouldn't put them on there. But, you know, for you guys that like them, there you go. It's there. Um, all the applied indices do have loom on them, as well as the outside bezel. Uh, looks pretty good too. Uh, I did take a moment and shine yield ultraviolet on it and take it off and everything you know glowed very nicely. Um, don't know how long it's gonna hold out. We'll have to uh, you know check that out in the full review where I'll spend some time with this guy and uh, you know really see how that loom holds up. The back is not really decorated. You got a brand logo there. Uh, and some text. Swift movement, so it's probably a Ronda, I would guess. Um, that's about it. All stainless steel, it says. Uh, no ratcheting or anything. You know, so not a true, true diver, though. I mean, the watch itself probably is, but the band, uh, strapped to bracelet words, mouth, uh, is definitely not. Um, you know, you would want that ratcheting, but you can swap it out. I imagine it's probably a fairly standard size. Does look like solid in links, which is nice to have. A nice flat back. Um, so we'll throw this on wrist. It's going to be massive. Uh, we'll get the old croft off. Uh, really, I'm liking this croft. I think it's going to be a pretty good review. Enjoying my time with it. Uh, so <laughs> this thing is huge. Uh, I will say this fold over is super tight. Uh, so they definitely, uh, you know, a little bit of. QC issue there, uh, but look at all that extra space. I mean, that's a good two inches of extra space in there. Uh, or well, an, an inch. If I pull an inch out, I, there's still probably room to go. Um, um, but if I hold it down here, we can kind of get a, a feel for it. It's definitely bigger. It's heavier, but you would expect that in a 1,650 feet water-resistant watch. Um, you know, definitely one for the 
swimming with the kids in the pool on the weekend and whatnot. It should hold up to that just fine. And with the quartz, you know, I'm not... Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with quartz, right? You know, as a lot of watch guys do. You love the accuracy. Um, you, you love the reliability. Pick it up, it's still set to the proper time. You walk out the door, you don't have to set it. Um, you know, but you want that automatic movement. Now, at the $100 price point that the Watch Game Black Tier subscription is, uh, it's kind of right on that edge, right, of where I'm I'm going to be happy with quartz or not. Uh, if you're going to be a $100 price point and you're going to be quartz, you better bring the pain, you know, you better bring the pain to the show. Uh, it better be a nice watch. It better be quality. Uh, you know, it better bring some additional functions to it, things like that, or you need to get into an automatic uh, and I will say, you know, for with the exception of that that one hair I found, which I'm, I'm betting is probably a fluke, uh, but uh, you know, it is there, and I can't, you know, not see it. You know, it's definitely there. Um, once you see it, it's one of those you can't unsee it. Every time I look at that hour hand, there it is. You know, and I can see it now with my eyes. You know, without using the magnifier. You know, if you know what you're looking for. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, but with the exception of that, it feels like a, a reasonably quality piece. You know, again, that little ratcheting under this bezel right here is a little bit sketch, but you know, it may hold up just fine. This is going to be one of those time will tell kind of things. If I push on it, there's definitely some movement there. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm trying to make the bracelet not rattle, but yeah, you see, you don't get it up here, but you get a lot of it down here. That's that. That kind of play, you know, where it's it's wobbling, it's not as tight as it could be, you know, and that may be some of that, you know, what I'm feeling, you know, as as potentially, you know, weak ratcheting movement underneath. Again, it's not there yet. It feels fine when I rotate it now. It may be fine five years from now. I don't know, um, you know, but that's just a potential. That's an area I'm going to keep an eyeball out for because, you know, it is definitely loose. Um, uh, the dial is actually really pretty. I love that textured blue. Uh, it is like a, almost like a denim, like a blue jean blue. Uh, not the faded jeans, but the new, you know, new jean type look. Uh, but that texture is, is really nice. I love a textured dial. So, so this has been the Nautis. Uh, I don't know the model. I'm going to assume it's Global Dive. Uh, We'll, we'll find out in the full review. It's been our Watch Game Black Tier subscription for March of 2019. Watch Game Black Tier is a $100 subscription price. You pay them 100 bucks, you get a blind watch shipped to you. Uh, you don't know what it is till you open it, hopefully. Uh, somebody on the exchange page didn't spoil it or something. Uh, and you're guaranteed a watch, according to Watch Game's description, valued between 150 and 500 dollars and they swear they don't use msrp they use real world pricing uh, we found that to be the case in in several instances we found it to be a little sketchy in others um, so we'll, we'll see going forward we know where we are we've got a couple months left of our year subscription um, before we do our big you know 12 in, 12 month review of all 12 watches and take a look and see if if you know watch game was really worth it to me uh, at the end of the year so, that is all the time I got for today. I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, as always. And until next time, you guys get out there and make some noise. See ya.